It's a mystery whether UFOs, unidentified flying objects, really exist. Scientists have argued that many of the planets in our galaxy have the conditions for life. So could there be aliens out there? Could aliens have tried to visit us? Well, in the last 50 years, an amazing 40 million UFO sightings have been reported and researched. So let's consider this case file. It was late evening on the 17th of May, 1996, and Dennis Rainbow from Lansing, West Sussex, saw a strange glowing shape in the night sky. It was twice the size of most stars and very bright. It also seemed to be diamond shaped and was glowing green at the top and yellow at the bottom. And what's more, Dennis thought he could make out two red lights that appeared and then disappeared. What do you think it could have been? Well, Dennis reported the sighting to his local paper who looked into the mystery. It turned out that other people in the same area had also seen the UFO, yet neither the police nor the nearby airport could offer any explanation. Could they all have witnessed a visit from an alien spaceship? Well, the case was finally solved when an astronomer revealed that the mysterious glowing UFO was in fact the planet Venus, which on a clear night can look quite strange when you see it with the naked eye. You may even have seen it yourself occasionally. In fact, around 95% of all UFO sightings are easily solved. They are simply cases of mistaken identity. Now, anything which you might see in the sky and which you don't easily recognize is often reported as a UFO. For example, people have often mistaken meteorites, which can fly through the sky at over 300 miles per hour as UFOs. Or giant weather balloons like this have been thought to be UFOs. There have even been some great hoaxes. After fooling everybody for a while, this photo was eventually proved to be a fake. The UFO was in fact just a small model. Evidence of fake UFOs being built has even been found. So there you go. UFOs are a myth. They are all explainable. Or are they? Well, Nick Gunton is an investigator with the British UFO Research Association. Now, Nick, is it true that 95% of all sightings are explainable? It is, yeah, 95% are, oh, but that still leaves 5% which cannot be explained. So, is there any explanation whatsoever about those 5%, or could they actually be spaceships? They could be spaceships, but uh, by their very nature, a UFO means unidentified flying object. So it's just something flying around in the sky, which we don't know what it is. Now, you've got some un unexplained photographs, haven't you? Could I you have. talk us through them here? Right, well, this first one was taken in 1972 in South Africa. And the object was seen by a number of people, including police officers. It hovered around in the air for over an hour and changed color from red to green to black. And was there any convincing explanation? None whatsoever. OK, let's take a look at another photo here. Can you explain this one to us? Right, yeah, this next one is a bit more recent, from 1992, and it's in Somerset. And the chap who saw this one reported it as being a bright white object, as you can see there, and just the wrong shape to be a star, much too close to be a star. Doesn't look like a star. And again, no explanation? No explanation. What about this very famous photo? Right, yeah, this one was taken in 1984 in Brazil. Uh, lots of people saw it. It uh, hovered above the city of Sao Paulo. Um, and there wasn't just one either, there were many of them. Um, and they were picked up on airport radar. And one even overtook an aircraft pilot, fighter pilot, and we said it was going much too fast to be a plane. So they were actually there, they were photographed, but does anyone have an explanation? No explanation. Nick, thanks very much. Thank you. What do you think? Can you explain everything you see in the sky? Maybe you think you might have seen a UFO. Is there really anybody out there?